Come on. Oh, the chariot. Oh, yeah. Listen to that purr. 150 cc's of pure power. All right, here's the highway outside of Puerto Escondido, and this is what I'll be uh, tearing my my crazy little chariot down. <laughs> Something left a cloud of smoke. This is gonna be a real adventure. Oh, this truck is on fire. It's a bit stressful for her on the highway. Not for me, but for the, for the chariot. What do you think, guys? Do you think life as a, as a bird feeding in the river might be better than being a human? Let me know in the comments. I made it to Mazunte, Centro of Mexican Turtles. They don't have anything online here in this town, so I'm gonna just walk in here and, and ask them how much it is and take a look. Yeah, I used to, I've slept in many places like this for $5 a night in Southeast Asia. It's a bit too rustic for me. All right, I got myself some hippie food. I'm in a hippie place. Empanadas. Empanadas y roles de canela. Es, uh, de, ¿De dónde eres? ¿Argentina? Mm, no, no, pero casi. <laughs> no, Mexico. Me sí, soy de Mexico. Mexico. Sí, uh, soy de Mexico. Look at these. Mira. Delicious empanadas. Sí, tenemos canasta roja. Your social media is yes, canasta uh, roja. Canasta el, roja. El canasto rojo. El canasto rojo. <laughs> Got it. Alright, let's give this the taste test. <laughs> oh! ¿Qué tal? Deliciosa! Me gusta! Mm. Oh. Qué bueno. This is very good. Same. Mushrooms. <laughs> Olive. Some spinach, olives. Olivo. Y también espinaca. También tenemos verduras al curry. She's the best empanada saleswoman <laughs> in all of Mazunte. <laughs> Okay, so what is the one thing that everybody has to do here? Um, go to see the sunshine in Punta Cometa. Uh, it was a, it's a really magic place, really magic place with a lot of energy. And if you come to Mazunte, you don't it's a, go. It's a magic place, like yes. there's wizards here? N not like yeah. wizards, mm -hmm. but have a lot of, um, I don't know, energy. Mm -hmm. um, when the sun go, mm -hmm. the people... Yes. Yes, clap. Everyone's clapping. Yeah, I see everyone this. clap. Yes. Cool. And what else do people do here? They go to the beach. Go to the beach, chilling. Go to uh, meditation places and yoga place. And the life night, night life, night life. Night life. Night life. Yeah. Uh, don't um, too much because it's eleven the night. Everything's, everything is closed. Oh. Yes, everything is Everything's closed. closed at 11, so if you want to party, go to Cancun. Yes, to Cancun or Zipolite, it's closed to here. Oh. It's a uh, 50 Z minutes Zipolite here. Zipolite is a naked beach, right? Yes, it's a naked beach. Oh. It's a naked beach. It's a party beach, yes. So one of the best things and one of the absolute worst things about traveling is the impermanence of, of everything. Your relationships are not permanent. The places you go, they're not permanent. The things you feel, they're not permanent. One day you're looking at the most the most beautiful sunset and then it's gone. And that's the same with most of the relationships, most of the people you meet on the road. They're here and then they're gone. 
and there's always somewhere better, right? So you stay in one place until you're you're bored of it or you're not happy, and then you move. And that nomadic excitement, I really crave it. But um, you can also get addicted to it, addicted to trying to find something new, something better. There's always somewhere better over the rainbow, but uh, you can never quite find that pot of gold. It's a bit sad, honestly. But um, that's why I like to keep moving. You get your heart broken a lot when you're traveling, when you're meeting people. You connect with people and then they're gone. Over and over and over and over. I got to the point where honestly I don't even try to make friends with people anymore. I quit dating. I quit making friends. Uh, just because I got traumatized too many times by people just coming and going out of my life. But that's the way traveling is. Oh, he's very nice. That's a real Mexican goat right there. So in my rush to go check out this new place, Cipolide, I totally went the completely wrong way and drove like an hour down the wrong road. Looks like I have a problem, the chariot. <laughs> the chariot has a flat tire. And I just got it, I just got it filled up at the last gas station and it's going flat. She's telling me that up here, just two minutes, I can go somewhere to get my tire filled. What's your number, amigo? Yosmar. Yosmar, the best mechanic, most bueno mechanic in all of Oaxaca. He fixed my tire in like 30 seconds. I found Batman. I'm Batman. I story Batman. Let's see what's down here. Wow. Oh, bonito, grande, pescado. <laughs> this guy got a really big fish. Can I get a selfie? <laughs> Maybe I'll just stay here. As much as I'd love to stay here, I gotta, I gotta get the zipolite. Zibolite. Wow, what an adventure. I've been on the road for over three hours. And here I am at this beach now, and apparently this is a party beach, and uh, I can already hear some techno. Maybe there'll be some fire spinning. What a beautiful place. Maybe I should just wear this helmet forever. It could be my new, my new thing. I could be the YouTuber. Who wears the helmet? Okay, now I have to find a place to sleep here. In Z Z Z Zipitle? Zipitle? Shit. Now I just have to find a place to sleep here in Zipolite. My small campfire. This looks fun. So guys, things have gotten expensive in Mexico because of the pandemic. Everybody in the world has come to Mexico. So I'm trying to find a place to sleep here in Zipolite that's less than $50 a night. And it's 
proving difficult. So someone gave me a tip that this place with the rainbow stairs will have a dorm room I can crash in. Let's go check it out. I always say if you follow the rainbow to your dreams, you can make anything come true. You can be anybody you want. It helps if you have a unicorn to actually ride on the rainbow, but you take what you can get. All right, I found a place to sleep. This place is called Zipolete Suites, and it's a hotel, but it also has dorms, and it's a nudist hotel, so you can be naked here if you want to be. It has a great big swimming pool. And the whole top floor. <laughs> I'll show you more tomorrow. Okay. One of the benefits of having my new my new phone instead of my GoPro is that it, it can actually film at night. So tonight, you're going to watch Tony get drunk and go to the beach. Apparently there is a lot of partying happening in this this hippie town full of beach-bound hippies. Let's go. Before any great adventure you in Mexico, you have to start with some tacos. And a beer. So here's a little true story about Zipolite I heard from a Mexican, a real Mexican. He told me Zipolite did not exist 20 years ago. It was just a barren stretch of beach and the foreigners wanted a place to be naked and to eat all the magic mushrooms that they ever wanted to eat. And so they came here and they built Zipolite, a place to party, a place to get naked, because it's a naked beach, and dance till, to techno until dawn, whenever they wanted, with nobody telling them they couldn't do it. You can dance as much as you want in Zipolite. I'm gonna show you it's true. <laughs> Never let anyone tell you what you can't do. Everything's fast. Everything's fast, not slow. Gonna go down, spin the show. Got some fire, light it on fire. Gonna make it burn, hot as fire. Uh. What a night, man. So today I'm going to explore a little of this town, Zipolite, and then I'm going to drive back home. It's been a great adventure so far. Hopefully I don't pop another tire. Call me absolutely spoiled and entitled, but I'm totally useless without espresso in me in the morning. <clears throat> espresso. Are you man enough? Should work on an ad for this. Mm. Espresso. Grow some hair on your tits. No. Uh. Espresso. Better than tacos. No. Mm. 
So here's the stuff you have to do here in Zipolite. You can swim with the turtles, with the tortugas. You can see some whales. There's a lot of whales out here in the ocean, under the sea. And you can see the bioluminescence. Uh, yeah. Look at that. You could live like a creature from Avatar if you want to here. Goodbye, Sibelite. I just decided to stop back in Mazunte and take a look around before I before I head back to Puerto Escondido. And there's a, a famous lookout point up here, so let's go take a look at that. It's so quiet up here. And all of the vegetation is totally dry. It just looks like a like a tinder box. And there she is. How can I not go down there? Look at this guy. I met him down on the trail and he was absolutely wasted. I gave him 30 pesos and he wanted me to go drinking with him. <laughs> Be careful, bro. All right, that's the end of my adventure. I hope you guys are inspired to get out into the world. Don't be afraid. Everybody has to die sometimes. Doesn't matter if it's dangerous. Danger is fun, come on. Get outside, buy a ticket, go do something with your uh, life before it's before it's too late. Adios.